Uh, <laughs> we can look at this from a two dimensional level and look at it as, oh, this is a, a, a big woman who got famous and decided to become a mean girl and, and let know, it go talk let, down on her dancers and her ego went to her head. Her e yeah, ego type of situations. Or we could say she was doing initiation. They were in Amsterdam in the red light. What do you call it? Red light district. Red light district at a uh, cabaret uh, club where they put bananas in their vagina. No, that's well. I don't know if it happened there. Yeah, that's the one. But it wasn't Lizzo. It was her uh, lead direct. Her dance captain. Dance, dance captain. She was the one that was, and she was funny enough. She was ultra religious. She purported that she was some type of Christian, and Tall was talking about Jesus. That's according to these women. She always that's when about, she had the mask on. And that's what a lot of celebrities, they always have this veneer of Christianity or Muslim over them to cover up their real worship. But anyway, she was uh, this over-religious woman who always talked about Jesus and stuff, but she always talked about sex as well. She always talked about, according to these women, she always talking about sex, and she's the one that got them to touch the naked women at the club. She used to take bananas and, and simulate uh, sexual Penetrate. acts. You know, says she put a banana in a woman's, you know, and told them to <laughs> take a bite. It's a lot of crazy stuff. Was that just them being some what they call it with these uh sororities and fraternities in order to get in? You got to get haze, hazing, yeah. that form of hazing, or initiation, they, or they trying to get the bag, <laughs> and the industry is tired of Lizzo. There's no more that she can do. She's used up, and they're ready for her ass to be gone. And that's how you feel. You think she's used up? Lizzo, Lizzo ain't trying to drop no weight at this point. But I was telling say, them they're gaining weight. I, I did think like sometime last year. You thought she's gonna start losing I weight. She didn't start losing weight, but she didn't. Because normally the celebrity thing happens where there's like, all right, it's time to move on. These are the women who accuse her. <clears throat> the women Thick. who accuse her of this. Let me just play the video. Demands or suggestions made by Lizzo, as you say. Um, were they direct where they said we i really want you to do it or was it more i'm afraid if i don't i might get fired yeah um i think for uh for both of us there was like this always looming um feeling of thinking that if you didn't do something or you didn't adhere to certain uh suggestions or demands that your job could be in jeopardy you know have fun with her and you know um go along with like what she was doing and you know be down for anything that they were they were favored they were hired for more shows they were invited on you know like private jets and and to do cool things and you know could hang out with her and in, in like tropical settings like hawaii and stuff like that um some of our coworkers, you know, it's it's just like there was no line between professionalism and personal. Um, and so we had in our minds that if we weren't, you know, down for anything, that we would then be ostracized later. Um, it was this unspoken thing in the camp that if you um weren't super fun, like if you did, if you like skipped out on all of the like outings and you know, mm -hmm. all that stuff, that you wouldn't be seen in good favor. Um from Lizzo and that you would then not be considered like one of the people that is like cool and down. All right, we get it. So they wanted the, they wanted the, um, the props. They wanted the, if I do what they do, then I get to enjoy the benefits they receive. They thought that if they didn't do it, they would get kicked off the dancing with it. And they ended up getting fired anyway. These are the ones that So you should have stood by your morals. Exactly. So at, at so people of, think, people are obviously saying what you're saying, it's a money grab. It's an attempt to get some money out of situation you didn't make the dance team also let's just let's, let's stick to one part that we kind of jumped over which is lizzo body shaming so you saying so you saying big people can't body shame other big you people. can point out the obvious but it is kind of that sounds crazy body maybe shaming. she wants her dancers to be a certain weight heavier or lighter she wanted to the, the way they came in is the way she wanted them to stay she don't want them to come in and get bigger or was she talking about their fitness level Maybe she said, "Y'all getting bigger, you are gonna be out of breath on the stage. You got to be able to move." But it's like, they probably looking like you. We big, though. we all big. just because you know, you big don't mean that you get to gain more weight, though. She has a right to have a standard of <laughs> look at you, <laughs> how what size she wants them to be while they're dancing, right? Because she's paying them. Okay, okay. Well, she's not paying the label with. Uh, George said someone slapped that hot dog with a raw pork chop because she about to get cooked haddish style. <laughs> haddish. Oh. Tip Tiffany, Tiffany Haddish, Haddish kind of she got a show on. She's uh, quietly 
getting back. They Tiffany has got they a put show. her in Netflix. They not put no, her no, not in Netflix. It's a uh, Apple. Apple. They put her in shit that nobody don't really watch. Yeah. Regarding Lizzo's story, do y'all find it interesting that the ladies were on her reality show, uh, Dancers in April 2023, and suing her May 2023? Well, I think it's probably part of the show, more than likely. Or oh, the show already been shown. I guess it's been shot. Oh, I don't know. Uh, Brianley said 15 <laughs> minutes running out. Yeah, I think that's. I think all all these people, 15 minutes is running out after this year. I think 2024, you're not going to see a lot of these people. Go ahead. Plus, Hungry Hippo admitted in a rap, she did it and don't care. Well, she did release a statement saying this is not true. So make sure we point it out. She Agreed denies her. all allegations. Lizzo has served her purpose and the industry will not bag her. They don't want to bag her no more. She will out. Hey, what up, time? It's not the institution of Sonic. It's the individual nuts. Well, I see on. the potato Before salad on her. This is good, though. Well, he, said the, he said the people are Masonic, <laughs> not the institution. I disagree with that. I think in order to be a part of the... In- <laughs> The institution you have to be masonic that's the foundation of this country true. the foundation of the american this country is mason masonry true so yeah i see mk ultra kittens in their eyes just saying yeah that's one of the that's, i ain't never seen one. <laughs> they knew they didn't want to lose the weight so they did anything for the hippo and her doggy treats her doggy treats. i like potato salad i'm just saying so he like them thick oh lord he like, he like the big mama arms hey <laughs> You gotta cook it right. Lizzo is the only one hiring big girl dancers They're looking to retire off the settlement. <laughs> when the only other person, the only other time I've seen big women dance is when they want to pander and Monique back in the day. What's up, Uncle? What up, Uncle? <laughs> oh, <laughs> hey, Uncle, take you out. Mm-hmm.